Imagine a tiny metallic explorer, Voyager 1. Launched in 1977, it was built by human hands, driven by curiosity. Its mission, a grand tour of the outer giants of our solar system. But Voyager 1 didn't stop there. It kept going, faster and farther than anything before it. It became our first emissary to the stars, a testament to our desire to explore. This small spacecraft, no bigger than a car, carries the dreams of a planet. It was built when we were just beginning to grasp the vastness of space. Voyager 1 gave us our first close-up look at Jupiter and Saturn, revealing wonders we never imagined. Using the gravity of these giants, it was flung outward, destined for the great unknown. For decades, it has traveled through the cold, dark void, enduring cosmic rays and silence. All the while, it whispered back data that rewrote our understanding of the universe. Today, Voyager 1 is farther from Earth than any other human-made object, over 165 times the distance from Earth to the Sun. Light takes more than 23 hours to reach it. A message sent from Voyager today would not reach us until tomorrow. This distance is a testament to its journey, a message in a bottle, cast into the cosmic ocean. Voyager 1 is our silent ambassador, carrying our story into the stars. Voyager 1's story began with a rare planetary alignment, an opportunity that comes once every 176 years. The outer giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, lined up, letting Voyager 1 slingshot from one to the next. Voyager 1 and its twin, Voyager 2, were built for this grand tour. Its first stop, Jupiter 1979, where we saw storms, the Great Red Spot, and volcanic Io. Next, Saturn's rings and Titan's mysterious atmosphere. To study Titan, Voyager 1 left the planetary plane, heading for the stars. Its journey is a testament to seizing the moment and venturing beyond the horizon. Voyager 1 began its greatest adventure, toward interstellar space. Where does our solar system end? It's not a line in the sand, the true edge isn't where the planets stop, but where the sun's influence fades. The sun blows a stream of charged particles, the solar wind, creating a protective bubble called the heliosphere. Inside, Everything is bathed in the sun's particles and magnetic field. This bubble shields us from much of the galaxy's harsh radiation. The edge of the solar system is the edge of this bubble, the heliosphere. Beyond it lies the interstellar medium, a thin soup of gas, dust, and cosmic rays. The boundary where the sun's influence ends and interstellar space begins is a frontier we'd never crossed. Voyager 1's ultimate mission reached this boundary and become the first human-made object to enter interstellar space. We wanted to know what this edge was like, how thick, how it changed, what lay beyond. Voyager 1 was our probe, sent to dip its toe into the cosmic ocean. Its journey to this edge took decades. A patient voyage into the unknown. And when it reached the edge, it changed our understanding of home. The boundary of the heliosphere isn't a simple line, it's a series of layers. The solar wind flows outward like a river, but eventually meets the pressure of the interstellar medium. The first layer, the termination shock where the solar wind slows from supersonic to subsonic speeds. Voyager 1 crossed this in 2004, entering the final region of our solar system. Beyond lies the helios sheath, a turbulent magnetic sea where the solar wind is jumbled and squeezed. Voyager 1 traveled through this region, sending back data that revealed unexpected complexity. The final boundary, the heliopause, where the sun's bubble ends and interstellar space begins. On one side, you're inside the solar system, on the other, you're in the galaxy. Scientists watched for signs, a drop in solar particles, a surge in cosmic rays, and a change in the magnetic field. The crossing was coming, but no one knew exactly when or what it would look like. Voyager 1 was venturing into territory that existed only in theory. The data would reveal if our models were right or if the universe had surprises in store. The heliopause is the true edge of home. Crossing it meant Voyager 1 had left the sun's domain forever. Scientists had clear predictions for Voyager 1's crossing. They expected a dramatic change in the magnetic field, a cosmic compass needle swinging from the sun's direction to the galaxies. This, along with a drop in solar particles and a surge in galactic cosmic rays, would be the unambiguous signal. The transition was supposed to be sharp, a clean break between solar and galactic domains. The plasma outside was expected to be much denser than inside. All signs pointed to a dramatic, clear-cut transition. 
But the universe rarely follows our tidy models. Voyager 1's crossing would challenge everything we thought we knew. In 2012, Voyager 1's instruments reported the expected drop in solar particles and a surge in galactic cosmic rays. It looked like the historic crossing had happened, but one crucial sign was missing. The magnetic field didn't change direction. It remained aligned with the sun's field, defying predictions. How could Voyager 1 be in interstellar space but still feel the sun's magnetic field? Scientists debated. Had it crossed the heliopause or not? Some argued the particle data was undeniable. Others insisted the magnetic field had to change. For months the data showed a confusing picture, galactic particles, but a solar magnetic field. The answer came from Voyager's plasma wave instrument. In 2013, a solar flare sent a shock wave that made the surrounding plasma ring. By listening to this ringing, scientists measured the plasma's density. The result? The plasma was 40 times denser than inside the helio sheet, matching predictions for interstellar space. The evidence was overwhelming. Voyager 1 had crossed into interstellar space, but the boundary was stranger and more porous than anyone imagined. The sun's magnetic field seemed to reach farther than expected, blending with the galaxies. Voyager 1 had left home, but the edge was not a wall, it was a complex, shifting frontier. The universe had rewritten our script, and Voyager 1 was there to tell the tale. Voyager 1 taught us the boundary between our solar system and the galaxy is not a wall, but a permeable membrane. The suns and galaxies' magnetic fields intermingle, creating a region of swirls and eddies. This has profound implications. Our shield against cosmic rays is more like a sieve. Understanding this is crucial for future astronauts venturing beyond Earth. Voyager 1 is now our only direct probe of the interstellar medium. Its instruments measure the density, temperature, and pressure of this tenuous material, the raw ingredients for new stars and planets. The data refines our models of how galaxies evolve and star systems form. Voyager 1 has found the interstellar medium is not empty, but dynamic full of plasma waves and shock waves from ancient supernova. It's painting a picture of interstellar space as an active environment with its own weather and history. The journey continues, and Voyager 1 is still teaching us. We are no longer just observers, we are participants in the galaxy. Voyager 1's legacy is more than data, it's perspective. In 1990 at Carl Sagan's request, Voyager 1 turned its camera back for a final portrait. From 6 billion kilometers away, Earth appeared as a tiny speck, a pale blue dot. That image is a humbling lesson in cosmic perspective, reminding us of our fragility and unity. Voyager 1 also carries the Golden Record, a time capsule for any future finders. It contains greetings in 55 languages, music from Bach to Chuck Berry, and sounds of Earth wind rain, whales, a heartbeat. There are 115 images, scientific diagrams, human anatomy, scenes of life. The odds of it being found are tiny, but that's not the point. Creating the record was an act of hope, a message from humanity to the cosmos. It says, this is who we are. This is our world. Voyager 1 carries our story, our music, our dreams, cast into the cosmic ocean. The act of sending it united us, if only for a moment. It's a reminder that we are all voyagers, sharing a fragile world. The pale blue dot and the golden record are voyagers' gifts to the future. They are our message in a bottle, drifting among the stars. Today, Voyager 1 continues its lonely voyage, its instruments are aging, its power fading, and soon, its voice will fall silent, but the spacecraft itself will drift through the galaxy for eons, a silent ambassador from Earth. Voyager 1 changed our understanding of the universe, and, our place, within it. Its discoveries inform our plans for future exploration. The mission is a testament to curiosity, long-term thinking, and the power of human imagination. Voyager's journey is the first chapter in humanity's story, as an interstellar species. Future missions will follow, pushing the boundaries even further. The questions remain, are we alone? What is our destiny in the cosmos? Voyager 1's journey is just the beginning. The story of humanity among the stars has only begun.